Once upon a time, in the area of Birchcliff, um, there used to be stands of birch trees. That's why, of course, the neighborhood got its name. But over time, these birch trees, um, who are pretty sensitive to environmental change, have gone. So the community and the residents and some of the businesses of the area um, approached Mural Roots and asked us to help them revitalize their neighborhood uh, uh, with something that was going to give them an identity, um, give them something that made them feel this is home. And that's how the Birchcliff Community Mural Project came about. We were able to um, work with a, a number of students whom we employed through various student employment programs and grants that um, Mural Roots supplies for. Uh, and uh, in a workshop setting um, using a school, we created these uh, different forms of birch murals. We had probably around 15 people in total who ranged from those who were the teachers, the trainers, the mentors, and the youth that were employed through summer employment programs. And uh, the great thing about doing this kind of work uh, for the summer is it's a really, um, it's an inspiring creative project, um, a process that many of these youth have never even given the first thought to. Uh, they come to a job that they know is going to involve painting, but what they're able to do is to learn from scratch the basis of creating um, a, a big artistic piece. Um, it was a great partnership with the school, and um, but uh, mostly it was the it was a great team of uh, youth, um, led by Rob Mateka and assisted by uh, Tara Dory uh, and Jen Moya as well. Those were the leads in the program. But the young people who came from the various employment programs, actually, um, many of them had very, very little experience. But over the summer, they learned everything from design, um, projection to um, uh, cutting of the panels, preparing, painting and then the installation went up with the uh, support of the TDSB.